Right, so the starting point um, of explaining this particular autopilot booking system to you is at the point that we generate the lead. So here we are um, on one of our banned websites here and we're on the contact page. Now you'll notice here that there's a number of different um, cells that need to be filled in. Uh, I particularly like asking for a relatively detailed amount of information um, mainly because I think it filters out some of the time wasters. If we put a little hurdle in front of them that people are actually serious when they do actually want a quote and they're serious about the act itself. So once this data is filled in by that uh, visitor, by that prospect, it then gets sent through to uh, our CRM system. Now the CRM system stands for Customer Relationship Management System. Now um, if you don't use a CRM system that's absolutely fine. The data that you receive from your contact pages will likely come into your email um, which is absolutely fine Come into your email. That's not a problem at all. Um, once we've got this data we then need to go and send a quote out. Now here I will then send a quote using um, a series of different templates depending on who the quote is actually for. So in this particular case, I'm going to choose this particular template here. Um, this template will then get sent off. Uh, once that has been sent off to that prospect, the next stage is that we need to go and take the data, the name and the email address of that individual and put it into a piece of email software called MailChimp. Now MailChimp is a fantastic piece of software which effectively um, holds all the data of those prospects um, that have made an inquiry for you. So the way that it's set up, when you've, once you've set up MailChimp and you come inside it, you can see across the top here, I want to point out to you two, two tabs here, the list and automation. What you're effectively doing is you're taking the data for that prospect and you're adding it to a specific list inside MailChimp. Then associated with that list are a, is this automation tab here and inside the automation is where what are known as autoresponders sit. Now those autoresponders are a series of different emails which get sent out to the individuals on the list to where you've added the data. So the next step is that we're going to take the prospects uh, first name, last name and the email address and we're going to put that into the particular list. We're going to add it to the list and you would do that via this particular form here. Once you've um, once you've clicked subscribe here that individual is then is now added to that particular list. Okay so the next stage is that we're going to then send those that individual those contacts on that list we're going to send them a series of automated emails. So if we now open up this automation tab here you can see that if we now scroll down to let's go and have a look here we can take a look at uh, this particular automation series so this is a series of emails which get sent to the individuals on the list at certain points along the path they are also otherwise known as autoresponders so you can see here that there's a series of different emails here which have all been loaded up which have all been loaded up in the system now you'll notice here first off that um, they are they they get sent out at certain points at certain days after that individual has been added to the list so you can see here two days after the workflow is triggered six days after the previous email was sent and then six days after the previous email was sent etc so that shows you that uh, each of these emails are being sent uh, in an automated sequence based on when that individual was added to the list. So let's just dive in and have a little look at some of the, the content that's included in some of these emails. So here you can see that um, the first email that gets sent after that individual has been added to the list is what I call the just checking email and it's actually sent two days after the workflow is triggered. The workflow is triggered it means when that individual has been added to that list. So if we click on here we can go and view what that email actually looks like and you can see here that the first email, the just checking email is effectively hi and then we merge file in the first name just checking that you received the quote I sent for the milestones then I always feel it's very important to have the link inside that but the link to the website inside the email uh, mainly because the chances are that they've probably forgotten who they made the inquiry about so to give them that immediate prompt to go back and have a look at your website I think is vital next we say uh, it was sent to you a day or two ago 
I send this email as a number of people say that they do not receive our quote email. Sometimes the quote can get caught in certain email spam filters, so I just wanted to be certain that it arrived. If you haven't received it, do check your spam folder, and if you still can't find it, then just hit reply to this email to let me know and I'll send it to you. Uh, I send it again for you. If you already have received the quote, please just ignore this email. All the very best with your plans. So it's quite a soft email which just effectively uh, requests that they, well, it doesn't necessarily request, it, it just prompts them to go and have a look at the quote that you'd initially sent through. So now if we go back and have a look at some of the other emails in the sequence, let's just go and pick one here. Um, now all of these other emails in this sequence, they all serve a specific purpose. Every single one of these emails is here to add value to the experience that that prospective uh, client is going through. So they answer what I call FAQs. They answer the frequently asked questions, the conversations that are going on in the head of the prospect. Your specific type of prospect, depending on what act you are. Now, for example, how not could get caught out with a band extras bill? What happens if a band member is sick and can't perform? These are not all. These are not topics which have been dreamt up by me. These are topics which I get asked about on a regular basis. And what I'm effectively doing is preempting the question that that prospect has, and then offering them a very specific answer in an automated way. Now if we go into the actual email itself, well let's just first actually have a look at some of the open rates here. So this first email here, this just checking email, gets a nearly a 70% open rate. The next one is 60, nearly a 66% open rate. So all these open rates are pretty high for emails, which is great. So people are reading the emails effectively. So let's just go in and dive a little layer deeper into and actually have a look in one of these value offering emails. Now, um, you can see the content in here again. I won't go into this again. This is just goes into a little bit more detail about the uh, the question that is uh, that is th that they are asking themselves as they go through the process of booking the act. So. The other couple of things that I want to draw your attention to here um, is at the bottom, and I think these are vital elements to these autoresponder emails. The first is a call to action. So the call to action here, or a CTA, is if there is anything else I can do to help, just let me know. Either hit reply to this email and I'll get back to you within 24 hours, often sooner, or call me direct. All the best. Now it's giving them a very specific instruction on what they should do if they are interested in taking the next step. And I'm giving them a very clear call to action with my contact details, um, or that they can either hit reply or they can call me. Now underneath that there is what I call the super PS. Now the super PS is where is is effectively where we're looking to try and engage that prospect into understanding the value that the act that you have to actually offer. So here we're actually saying PS here are the answers to many of the FAQs that we get. Now these are FAQs that are specific to the band itself. Um, now this particular link here will link through to the band's FAQs page so what we're trying to do is draw them back into the website as well to engage with the act on the website again. The idea behind that is that we're looking to to really try and demonstrate the value that the act has and try and look to persuade them that this act is the right act for them. Okay so that that's in essence what it's all about the idea being that once you get that contact detail the contact details of that prospect loaded up into mailchimp they are automatically followed up every 6 days with a series of different valuable emails which they're going to find valuable in their journey so they're going to see you as an expert and an authority the next purpose of these emails is that you want to keep front of mind you want their you want their mind share. Now I said to you at the beginning uh, on this particular post how much com competition there is for prospects mind share whether it be their busy lives or other suppliers or the com competing acts. This puts these email automated emails puts you front of mind and that's a vitally important competitive advantage that you've then got um, over your competition. So you can see that all of these um, all of these emails are really providing um, not only a service to your uh, and helping your prospect, but also allowing you to get on and do what you need to do while also managing to follow up consistently 
um, and effectively with each one of these prospects. So I hope you found that useful. Go and try this for yourself. It doesn't cost you anything to really set this up. It's really worth doing. It's going to take a, a little bit of time to get it set up. Don't think that you've got to do 15 emails. Go and do three or four emails. Just think about some of those FAQs um, that uh, prospective clients ask you about. Just jot some ideas down. Get it all into uh, this uh, autoresponder sequence and you're going to get results with this.